But then, going to the poorhouse. Now, uh, this is one minute. I'm not saying anybody here is in this situation. But I'm sure you know somebody's in that situation. All right? Um, and uh, I was on my way there till I read this book, The Can't Be Educated, because I was certainly on my way. All right? Um, now, let's look at the cash flow of a wealthy person. Do you see a job up there? No. They don't work. That's not how they earn their money. If they work, they work to learn. They're not working to earn it. So when Trump employs his children, they're not going to work for him to make a living. They want to work for him to learn the business so they can take it over when he's gone. Alright? Now this is what the wealthy do. So they earn their money from stocks and bonds and notes and real estate, intellectual property, investments. And where is their money coming from? What column? Look on the balance sheet. Where is their money coming from? It's on the right side. It's an asset column. The cup where you put the money in their pocket. Notice that you didn't see anything in the asset column from the poor person, and you didn't see anything in the asset column from the middle class person, did you? All right. But you see it in the, from the wealthy people. All right. And their money continues to turn in a circle. Now, all we say is just like these wealthy people can do this. We can do this too. It doesn't make any difference where you start out. You know, they tell you all the time, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. Don't use the saying. That's a, I'm talking about saying again. I'm talking talk about saying. You say money now, they're paying a, uh, what is it, one or two percent interest? You know, inflation is how much? If, if, if inflation is three percent, so you ain't making nothing on your money if you say it. You got to be invested. So we'll talk about saving and investing uh, in this class I'm going to teach. All right, in this class I'm going to teach. Uh, so let's talk about income. There are three types of income. Three types: earned income, income to get from a job. Look what I have up: highest tax. It is the highest tax income. Right? Earned income. It doesn't say not to work. It just says just don't be working forever. Work, you don't want to work to work your way out of the job. You're not working to work your way and stay in the job. You're trying to work your way out of the job. You should be. Because if you don't, all you're going to do is strive to live on what little money you have left after the government can take theirs off the top. The next kind of income is called portfolio income. Now this is income earned from uh, the, the money that's earned from stocks, the investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, all right? It's taxed too, but it's just not taxed as high. And if you invest through a corporation, you have an opportunity to significantly reduce your taxes, all right? Because you control, if you have a corporation, you invest in a corporation, a corporation only pays taxes on what's left in at the corporation at the end of the tax year. The government don't take the money off the top. And passive income. Now this is the least tax income, if it's taxed at all. You know, you hear about you know, some of the wealthy people who say, now they make millions of dollars a year and they don't pay no taxes. Why is that? Well, why do you think it is? Uh, There's an old saying, who, who has the goal makes the rules? Well, those people in Washington, D.C., particularly most of them in the Senate, you know, most of them are all millionaires. Well, who, who do you think they're making rules for? They don't make rules for poor people. They make rules so they can stay in, so they can stay in, in business and stay in control. All right? The good thing is, if you know the rules, you can play the game. If you don't know the rules, the game is played on you. Right? We've been blessed with uh, the religion of Islam. We've been blessed with the Quran and with our Imam. 
in that W.A. Muhammad. Our light and brain should be so turned on. It really should be. It really should be so turned on that when you hear something that seems to make sense and you, and you want to learn more about it, you shouldn't still be the tool of anybody. I don't care who it is. Uh, you know, if you just, you know, if you just lay down, anybody can just walk over, you know. Uh, but, you know, but what we have, we have to be able to stand up now. There's no time for laying down anymore. Uh, we don't have any excuses. None of us. And I'm not talking about just us, us in this room. Those that we have, that we know, we need to call them and ask them, look, you need to come out the first summit so you can get some of this information that they have. Like, okay, if they won't listen to you, bring them on out here. Uh, I look around this room, and I'm looking to see if I see some young people. You know, the second, third generation. So I don't see as many of them as I want to see, as I need to see, as we all need to see. So I'm encouraging you to bring them out. I have an announcement I'm going to give at the end of this presentation. There's going to be something, there's always something here for them, but there's going to be definitely something here for them in terms of how to handle money. You see, I intend to pass on to my grandchildren and my son, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but I'm going to pass it on to them, business and some money and some and a knowledge that I didn't have. Now, if they don't do anything with it, that problem is with them. I can go before Allah and say, well, Allah, I took the knowledge you gave me, and I passed it on. And I used the knowledge you gave me, and I invested in businesses, and the money and the business I passed on. Now, what they do with it, they have to answer to Allah for it. I just want to ask them to answer to Allah for what I've had to do. Now, debt. Good debt and bad debt. How many of y'all listen to the uh, news and listen to the radio programs? And everybody's talking about, uh, we can help you get out of debt. Uh, we can help you pay off all your debts. Now, you done made these debts, but we can help you pay not as much as you made the debt for. We can help you get out. Yeah, once you give them some money, 